Good morning, explorers. I'm Mark Williams, and this is my channel, Age of Exploring. Right now, I'm on in Needles. It's 97 degrees. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm headed towards an 8-foot overpass that I think is closed, so i got to figure a way to get around it. I'm headed towards Kingman today, a short ride, going through Oatman and a few other places, very small places. Uh, it should be a short day. So, I'm in Needles near the Elk Arches. Harvey House, which is right across the street. It is really warm right now. Yesterday it was overcast and looked really good. Now it's just hot. So, this is El Garcia's Hotel, and El Garcia's Hotel and uh, Harvey House. And, and um, he realized that he could, if he put a restaurant in all the stations, where the people would stop or the train be fueled in that water, he can make some money. So he ran the Harvey House, and the Harvey House was a restaurant in first class. They got uh, they were known for getting their, their patrons served by the time the train had to leave. Um, it was done very formal. Harvey girls had to wear a certain kind of clothing. They had to be unmarried. Um, they were taught how to serve and how to uh, be able to carry a tray with one hand, serve, and do everything. It was, it was quite a... Uh, and I wanted to be a Harvey girl, and there's people that are still alive that tell their stories, and it was about what it was like. So this is the old Santa Fe Railroad right there. I'm passing under the Highway 40, heading towards the old Topic Bridge, Top Pock Bridge. All right, I am at the California Arizona border, and say yeah. Turn right, that's what I did. Actually, I turned left, but you know, because I was coming from California. Look at that bike right there. That Route 66, last part of California. What you can see here is a series of bridges. And the one right there is the Highway 40, and you can see just below it the girders. You can't see the top of it, that's the railroad. Well, you can see the railroad train on top. Um, that's the railroad crossing. But 66 actually used to take these bridges over here, and this bridge over here, um, which got to was narrow. And you can see it, I think, in the Great Sarath across the Colorado River, right there, Colorado River. Uh, so, it used to take that, but now we're using this where that truck is. And this is old 66, that road right there. There's the two bridges. Old 66, so it was right down there. That's where I dropped my bike. Now we're on the Colorado River, over the Colorado River. Oh. And we're in Arizona. This is Oatman, 1915 old mining town on Route 66. They donated a thousand dollars to us last year, uh, to St. Jude's through us last year. With their help, we have now managed to donate thirteen thousand dollars to St. Jude's Research Hospital. We also donated two thousand dollars to Wounded Warrior, seven thousand dollars to local charities, and we're donating to a policeman's fund as well. Now, the way we do this is we're going to do a gunfight for you. We hope you enjoy it. Then we're going to humbly walk amongst you with our hats in our hand, in a real polite way, saying, "Please donate to our cause." We got a real nice way of saying please. 
Please. Please. Please. Please. We appreciate it. Yes, we did. Anytime you got a bank full of gold and no sheriff to guard it, you're going to have bad guys hanging around. And that'd be us. And it's gunfight time. No, that way. Hey, hey, oh, oh, my oh, 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 hey. hey. Donkey. Here. Oh, you got the gold, all right? Yeah. 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 Hey. Well, we got to get out of town because I had to shoot that old man back there. I thought I heard a shot. Well, yeah. Went back there to borrow his saddlebags. He got upset and went for a shotgun, so I had to shoot him. Over saddlebags? Yep. Yeah. He was going to kill me over a pair of saddlebags. Got to be something he, really important in here. I knew he wasn't right. Uh -oh. He's been the sun too long. Well, no, he ain't right. But I know why he wanted saddlebags so bad. Yeah, what's that? Well, because he's been over there hoarding all the toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> Who are you shooting at? I'm shooting at you. Ain't a very good shot, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so why are you shooting at us anyway? Who are you? Well, yeah. I'm the sheriff. The sheriff? You answered the bag, sir. Oh, you said you shot the sheriff. <laughs> I'm taking you to jail. <laughs> you going to jail? Uh-uh. Well, I'm not going to jail either. So just how you figure you're going to get us there? Yeah. Well, please your hands. Oh. All right, folks, you can calm down. <laughs> they still work. Who's shooting? Okay, now they don't. Is that you and those gals who stole my wife and my horse? Hey, hey, wait a minute. She stole a horse. I only went along with her for the ride. I'll overlook the wife, but I want my horse back. Oh, <laughs> can't, can't do that. You can't do that. And shoot the horse. You shot my horse? Yeah. All right, hang on. Now, the way y'all can help, listen for both of us, and we both say we're ready. Y'all holler, draw real loud, then I shoot him a whole bunch. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> hey, what? I got a better way of doing this, though. Yeah, what's that? You not catch a three. Catch a three? Why, well, sure. I... Three? Three. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. There we go. Is this three? Go! Oh! Go! Wait a minute. What? What is that? Who knows, dose? I... What, Mississippi? Who, Mississippi? <laughs> Now what? What? We're not in Mississippi. We're in Arizona. Oh, that about that. You do the count. I count with their great seven times. Got a scholar. <laughs> hey, remember, don't shoot on one. Nope, not gonna shoot on one. Don't shoot till you say two. Don't shoot on two either. Don't shoot on two. Right, I'm not gonna shoot on two. All right, the only time you shoot, you say three. All right. That's right. All right. Three. <laughs> I don't see no deputy out here. Mommy. Behind me. Oh, Just leaving Oatman, old Highway 66 to Arizona. Look at this view. But look at the scenery here. Can't imagine what it was like to try to get one of those old cars, even though it was new at the time, up along these, this road. Look at the scenery. Wow, look at that. Amazing peaks, clouds. We're about 25 miles out of sight of uh, Kingman, which is where I'm going to spend the night. Beautiful, beautiful road and country here. I stopped at uh, Cool Springs Camp uh, on my way into Kingman. Cool Springs Camp was established in 1927 
and became a full service facility in 1937 with a gas station and, and cabins and things. Uh, it was bypassed by I-40 in uh, 1952, it's, but it stayed open until 1966. Um, it became the set of um, Universal Soldier and was blown up in 1991 and then repurchased and uh, partially restored in 2002 with the plans of making it a uh, museum and gift shop and things. It was a really warm day, and even though the uh, over, it was overcast from the clouds, it was hot. Um, so hot that I it wasn't doing real great. I found an old Route 66 uh, motel, the El Travator, and pulled in. Unfortunately, the office was closed, but a truck pulled up with a gentleman and his wife inside, and he started talking to me. It turns out he was the owner, Sam. Sam knew everything about Kingman. He brought me into the office, um, gave me a cold drink while his wife made sure that the room that I want, uh, they, they wanted to give me was made up and, and really took care of me. Um, the, the rooms are named after uh, actors, so they all have themes. Um, and I stayed in the uh, Marilyn Monroe room, which was, well, um, themed after Marilyn Monroe. Uh, it is an old Route 66 motel, so it's very basic, but in, and it's in its original style. I didn't take pictures of the restrooms, but they're all tiled, and it's really, really nice. It also has the world's longest map of Route 66, or so claimed. Um, and it's all painted along the sides of the, the, the rooms. So you walk up and down the, the underneath the uh, awning and... and view the map and the rest of the rooms even though they all may not have maps on them are all themed also there's there's all kinds of incredible artwork uh that goes on here uh there's a, a tower that, that that over the uh the motel it's a i think it's a radio tower i'm not sure if it's working but uh with a lot of um neon on it unfortunately the neon had been broken uh, about a year ago and they had not gotten around to replacing it yet because it's kind of expensive but again, it's it's a, the, uh, a probably my favorite motel that I stayed at in the entire trip, and um, to be honest, it, it I, I would highly recommend it. Uh, Sam knows everything about Kingman, uh, the history of it. Um, it. Told me all kinds of things, directed me to some great restaurants and uh, things to see, um, and I, I have to thank him. As always, be great, do good, go out and explore.